So to really answer the question of does one drug work better or more quickly than another, you really need a head to head study. And fortunately, we have that for um, in a couple cases. So we have Exora R, which was a study, a head to head study of Ixikizumab, the IL-17 inhibitor versus Giselkimel the Giselkimab, the IL-23 inhibitor. Um, what that study found was looking at the first 12 weeks that there was a faster response to ixekizumab uh, versus Giselkimab. However, looking at uh, 24 weeks and using PASI 100, so complete clearance of the skin, there really was not a difference. Both drugs performed equally at 24 weeks, although the PASI 100 response at 12 weeks was a little bit higher uh, for ixekizumab than with Giselkimab. Um, there's another study called Emerge. This was secukinumab versus risinkizumab, a head-to-head -head study. And that study really found a similar speed of onset or PASI 100 response rate at week 12. The study went out for 52 weeks and actually showed that risinkizumab had a higher PASI 100 uh, response rate at week 52 um, than did secukinumab. So uh, about two thirds of patients on risinkizumab, we had a PASI 100 versus 40% treated with um, what does that mean for our patients? I think it depends. Does your patient, are they looking for their response in two weeks or four weeks? In that case, you might want to consider, for example, exekizumab, or are they looking at what's their long-term durability? Um, so I think it depends. I think most patients are really looking for a treatment for the long haul, but there are going to be some who really want that quick response, and that might be a situation in which an IL-17 could be preferable for that patient.